After nine months on the sideline, high school football is back. Welcome to the Kelloland Sports Zone. I'm Travis Fossian alongside Sean Bauer. Tonight we'll spotlight 11 games across four classes, and we begin with 11B. Third ranked winner kicked off its season against Stanley County. Third quarter winner by 30 and counting as Trevor Peters takes a handoff, roams to the far sideline, eludes a three player pile up, and flies down the sideline 58 yards. Though he's tackled inside the five. Two plays later, Peters finishes what he started, powering into the end zone for a one yard touchdown. 36 0 Warriors after three. Fourth quarter, Stanley County's Isaac Cliff follows his blockers into the end zone for a one yard score. Look out, cutting the deficit to 36 6. After forcing a turnover, winners Caleb Osborne closes the scoring with a three yard touchdown run, and the Warriors pick up a 44 6 win over Stanley County. Garrettson jumped from 9AA to 11B and opened its season against Webster area. Opening quarter, the Bearcats on the move until the snap sails over the head of Braden Holland. Garrettson senior Lucas Fitzgerald jumps on it, though the Blue Dragons fumbled it back a snap later. Second quarter, Garrettson forced to punt. Kobe Reitz makes some pay. Three gets to the far side of the field, flies down the sideline, and is pushed out at the eight yard line. Webster area scored three plays later on a two yard touchdown run. More from the visitors as Holland fakes a give, roams right, bumps into his own man, reverses course as blockers set up a wall along the near sideline and Braden motors 67 yards for the touchdown. PAT was no good. 13 0 Bearcats at the break. And Webster area blanks Garrettson 20 0. After making the move back to 11B, St. Thomas Moore opened its season against Hot Springs. Opening quarter, Cavaliers hang a score on the board as Ryder Kirsch goes up top to Grant Huber. He'll haul it in and walk it in for the 60 yard touchdown, 7 0 STM. Minutes later, the Cavs add to their lead as Kerr steps left and throws a dart down the middle to Sam Mathis. 25-yard touchdown pass makes it 14-0. More from the home team as Kirsch lobs it high into the air to Huber, who's going to make the catch on the far side of the field for another TD. 21-0. STM also played some D as Carson Jagaris going to come up with the fumble. The Cavaliers kick off their season with a 51-0 win over Hot Springs. McCook Central Montrose kicked off its season against Beersford. Late in the first, Watchdogs at the Cougar 14. QB Bradley Christensen drops back, spins around, and tosses a beauty to Alex Dockin for the TD. 6 0 Watchdogs. Ahead to the second quarter, Cougars charging down the field. Quarterback Reagan Randall with the quick nine yard strike to Colton Lindstrom. As MCM takes the 7 6 lead. Beersford looking to answer right back. Bradley Christensen's going to call his own number. He'll find a seam, going to get to the outside, and see ya. He's gone 51 yards to pay dirt. Beersford back on top, 12 7. Ensuing Cougar possession, little confusion on the option read, and somehow Christensen, now on defense, comes up with the ball for Beersford. Oh, wow. He'll take it the other way for the 52 yard defensive TD. Washdogs up by 11, but McCook's going to answer right back as Randall rolls right, then looks back to his left as Jake Cheeseman makes the diving TD grab to cut the lead to three. It's McCook Central Montrose comes back to knock off Beersford 39 32. And extended highlights of that game available on on the Sports Zone page at Kelloland.com. There you go. We'll have highlights from Lake Preston, Elkton, Chester, and Burke next. We'll be right back. You're watching the